Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. Now before we get into the video, something that has been a long time coming guys, we have finally gotten code Bobby. I know it's taken forever, but we have finally gotten it. So if you guys want to purchase any gems or if you guys are going to purchase any gems in the future, I would highly appreciate it if you guys can use code Bobby. All the support helps a ton, you know, not being the biggest creator, any help really 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 i do appreciate it and it just means the world so with that being said we're going to hop into the games and into the video and we are going to show you guys the six easiest brawlers to win games with on brawl stars so coming in at number six we have surge now surge is probably mechanically the most challenging brawler we're gonna have on the list i was trying to keep a lot of mechanically hard brawlers off the list such as Stu, where if you're good at it it's obviously insane but it's a little bit difficult to be good at the only thing that's hard with surge is sometimes you have to aim a little bit and sometimes you have to use a tp or something but for the most part surge is just auto aim run around and more auto aim so the reason that surge is so easy is that you actually hard counter a lot of stuff so there's a lot of brawlers that are three shot that you can just tp on spam auto aim three times and then you have your super now you have three tps to get your super you have to be saving your teleports your gadget your teleport is the most important part of surge you have to be saving these as this is how you're going to make your plays this is how you're going to score your goals this is how you're going to get your supercharge there's a big jump from level two surge to level three surge this jump is super important so if you're playing surge you want to save your tps for when you die and you get reset back to level two you want to go back up to level three you want to save your TPs for that. Three to four is not the most necessary thing in the world. So if you want to go from stage three to say stage four and you think you're going to die, don't do it because it's really not that worth it. It's not that overpowered anymore. The difference between two and three is much different than the difference between three and four. So make sure you guys are using your supers wisely and your gadgets wisely. But for Surge in general, I mean, it's a really easy brawler. It's just basically purely auto aim. Um, outside of that, you know, it's good in almost all the modes. It's pretty simple and it's just pretty easy to use. So we're going to have Surge in the number six spot. Let's move into the top five and show you guys number five. Coming in at number five, we have the dog, a.k.a. the perro, a.k.a. Ruffs. I don't even know what his actual name is. This brawler is just so easy. It is such a simple brawler. Let me put it on following myself. Code Bobby, my new name again, use code Bobby. But um, yeah, this dog, or this brawler, not this dog, is just incredibly good. It's good over time. So you guys can see we're losing the game right now. We only have 1% and they have 26 at the moment. But as you guys can see, Feli already has his power up. He's gaining HP with my star power. I'm gonna give the power up to Sword. I'm gonna give it to myself. And you guys are gonna see, we're gonna get bigger. We're gonna get stronger. And as the game goes on, as long as you don't die and throw your power up that you get, and the HP that you get so you don't get reset, you're gonna win the long game. So you guys can see, now Feli's boosted, I'm boosted, he has more HP, so now we're coming back. Now it's really easy to hold control, it's really easy to do a lot more things. This is a really simple brawler to use. Now if you face something like B, like Surge, like Stu, you hard counter it with your gadget. You just place that gadget down, and then you have immediate just shield, tanks, whatever you guys want to call it. Those bags just shield the shots, so obviously they don't do anything against brawlers like Amber, but I mean, the dog roughs is just such a simple brawler. It's so good, it hard counters a lot of things, and over time, it's just so, so, so strong. So this is one of the easiest brawlers to push with, as you, as you can just push within any mode. You don't really have to even have to do anything with this brawler. Just give your carries the power up in HP, and they're gonna do the rest. So this is gonna be number five. Let's hop into number four and show you guys what brawler it is. So coming in at number four, we have Crow. Now, Crow, again, is pretty mechanically simple. You kind of just auto-aim your shots, poke your shots, and there's a lot of things that you counter. Crow does not get countered by very much. It's pretty easy to play Crow. You have the range, you have damage. It's kind of just you poke, poke, and poke, and that's basically all you do. It's really simple, but it's really annoying. The five-second slow, the three gadget, is one of the most overpowered things ever in the game. You can slow three people for five seconds. It's probably one of the most absurd things I've ever seen. You guys are going to see over here, I slow all three of them. And with all three of them slowed, it's just a really easy team wipe and a really easy goal. And there's absolutely nothing hard to do about that. I literally just auto-aimed, clicked a green button, auto-aimed my jump, and then auto-aimed a few more shots. 
It is super simple, and it's actually really strong. If you guys are playing with a team, or not even with a team, if you're playing with randoms and you're playing with a comp that works really well with Crow, like snipers or any high DPS, it's just going to work out really well. I'd highly recommend running Crow on a lot of different modes. Now, if it's going to get hard countered, the only thing it gets hard countered by is like Piper or Brock or just a range that you can't really reach and, you know, chips you down really well, then I would avoid playing it. So probably avoid playing it on Bounty. But outside of Bounty, you can basically play Crow anywhere. Again, really good brawler, really strong, really mechanically easy. We're going to show you guys a little bit of a trick shot before we get into the next brawler. So let's <laughs> show you guys the trick shot real quick and then let's get into the next brawler. You can do trick shots like this if you use code Bobby, by the way. So coming in at number three, we have Sandy. Now, Sandy is a super simple brawler. Again, nothing mecha mechanically hard with Sandy. The super, you just place, obviously, just a sandstorm down on the map, and you just let your sandstorm be a sandstorm. Your gadget, you know, you just go to sleep for like two seconds, and then you come back. And then your shots, again, they're just mid-range auto-aims you just shoot at the other team. This brawler is really strong, and it takes no mechanical effort for you to be strong with it. It's really easy to push because it is good across a bunch of different modes, mainly the two popular ones being Gem Grab and Brawl Ball. So this is just a super strong brawler. It's strong as support. So again, this is technically a support brawler. You can also carry a game while being a support on Sandy. So that's the craziest part about this brawler. It's just really good. And then obviously, if you're chaining those sandstorms, you're doing really good with those sandstorms. There's basically no way a ladder team is going to be able to beat you. So with that being said, we're going to have Sandy as the number three. Let's hop into our top two now and show you guys the top two easiest brawlers in the game to play with slash push with. So coming in at number two, we have Tick. Now, Tick is honestly probably the easiest brawler in the game to push with slash play. Tick is just so easy. In every way, shape, and form, the gadget is literally invincibility. Nobody can hit you, you can take no damage, no one can knock into you, no one can do anything, and the worst case, or the worst thing, sorry, about the gadget is once it's complete, you push them further away from you, and it does damage for whatever reason. So it's invincibility plus damage, plus like, there's just so much with this it's so good and on top of that both the star powers are really good one of them regenerates health super fast so on top of the fact that you're invincible on top of the fact that you have a lot of range on top of the fact that you can shoot over walls you regain health faster it's such an easy brawler probably why my friend nat with the heart mains it but it's just so good it's ridiculously good it's ridiculously simple and it's good across a bunch of different modes if you guys want an easy brawler to play i would highly recommend playing tick um, it's just super good everywhere, and as you guys can see from this gameplay, there's nothing really mechanically challenge challenging about it. You kind of just spray shots, and it covers an area. You hide behind a wall, you stay away from things that do a lot of damage. It's pretty simple. If you guys also want a neat little trick, you can stand in this grass right on the top of the, like, Ike range and kind of just chip away, and you're always going to hit just one tick. So, I mean, if you guys want, you know, there's a cool little trick, but this is going to be our second easiest brawler to push with slash play. So we're going to move into number one. I feel like this one is fairly obvious if you guys really think at it and look at the brawlers. So before we go into it, you know, maybe try and make a little bit of a guess. Tell me in the comment section if you guys are right. But let's go into number one and show you guys what it is. So coming in at number one, we have Amber. Now Amber is walk forward and auto aim. That is what you do. That is the plan. You hold the red button, you click the green button for speed sometimes, and you just run forward. This is such a good brawler. It doesn't really get countered by anything. It counters a few things, but it's just so strong. You guys are going to see I get max speed. I'm not aiming. I'm not doing anything. I'm just running in a straight line, and we're able to get a triple kill by doing that. I didn't aim a single shot there. Sometimes you have to aim the super if you want to hit it, but you don't even have to use your super like I did there. You can just use it to deny some area but it's just such an easy brawler it's got good range good damage good hp you know it's just good in every shape of everything and it's good at basically every single mode so amber is going to come in at number one there's not really that much for me to show you guys amber is just the goat for you know simplicity being easy but also being able to push it so this is going to be our top six easiest brawlers to play slash push that are good in the meta if you guys want other things like this where, you know, maybe you guys aren't 
insane mechanical players, but you still want to be able to push brawlers really high and get brawlers up there, I can definitely do more lists like this, maybe even mode specific. But this is going to be it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, you already know, put a thumbs up, subscribe, comment. Don't forget to use code Bobby. And I will see you guys again, hopefully tomorrow. See you then. Peace.